Welcome to Mog Library series on creating a database search statement. This is part one of the series, Selecting Keywords. Um, I'm going to work with this example throughout the series. Basically, the idea of gender equality in the workplace. Are women treated fairly in the workplace? Um, this is a question that you might ask um, in, and, and are looking for articles about it in the research databases. The problem is, um, all three of these articles seem to address that issue. The first one is about patterns of gender equality at workplaces. Uh, the other is about women's employment rights in China. And the other one is about a ruling that says new jobs must treat female staff fairly. All three of these articles um, look interesting to me, and I would like to get them for my research. The problem is, while they all address similar um, ideas, they do not all use the same words to express those ideas. For example, they all have the idea of gender, but they do not use the same word for it. Same thing with the idea of the workplace. Workplace, employment, jobs, and equality or fairness. They all have these things in common, um, and they are all relevant to my search, but I would have to do a bunch of different searches trying to find all of these articles if I have to use these exact words. So how can I do one search and find all of them at the same time? That's where we're trying to go with the idea of the database search statement because my original question is something called natural language. It's the way we talk. But the way we talk is seldom the way things are expressed in the research databases. Looking in the research databases, I would express my, my search in this way. This is called a database search statement, and um, this is what we're going to go for in this series. We're trying to get from natural language to database search statement. And as you look at this thing, it doesn't bear any resemblance um, to my original question. It's very different. So um, there are ways to get here, and I'm going to show you every one of them. We are going to get here. Um, first of all, keywords are simply essential terms. What word or words have to be there in order for the article to be relevant? Um, and I'm also trying to think, how might an author express this? Um, I have no idea. You saw in those three articles which words an author is going to use and in which combinations. So in order to get the best search results with the fewest number of searches, um, I have to think about synonyms. You know, what other word or words might the author use to describe whatever it is I'm looking for? Not just global warming, but climate change. Not just capital punishment, but the death penalty. That kind of thing. So thinking about synonyms. In my original question, I think my first key word, the idea, is going to be the idea of women, or female or gender. I'm going to use all three words because they're synonyms and the authors might use them. The second key word is the idea of the job. And again, I'm going to use workplace and employer because I have no idea um, which one the author is going to use. And then number three will be the idea of fairness or equality. Okay. So um, the other thing to think about when you're choosing key words is you may need to either broaden the idea or narrow it down. Um, not every time. I mean, you know, you, you can look at it and say, do I need to? For example, the arts. Very broad. Um, I can narrow that down a little bit um, to dance, and then even from there to a type of dance, and even down from there. So that's what I mean by, by narrowing a search. Um, you, you may not need to, um, but think about your keywords, and if they're, if they're a little too broad or too narrow, you may need to to play with them a little bit. Um, but I, so far I'm pretty happy. Um, I think these keywords are going to be pretty good um, for what I'm looking for. It's a good start. So I'm, I'm not there yet. This is my, again, my database search statement. Um, so now I have to put these words together into a database search statement. And we're going to cover the first part of that, Boolean operators, uh, in the next part of our, of our series. So come back for Boolean operators. And if you have any questions, uh, the MOG reference staff is always available to help you. This is our phone number. Let us know if you need help.